What if a single name whispered through centuries, change, motion, infinity, and built the language on which modern science writes? Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz didn't just do math, he remade it. Leibniz didn't simply do math, he reinvented how we think about it. He co-discovered differential and integral calculus, giving us the tools to measure change and area. He created the symbols dx, dy, integral notations we still use today. He also devised the binary system writing numbers in O South and One South laying the foundation for our digital world. He built mechanical calculating machines and pushed ideas in logic, combinatorics, dynamics, and metaphysics. He dreamed of a universal language of thought a reasoning engine of ideas and symbols. In 1680, for he published Nova Methodus Pro Maximus et Minimus, introducing a new method for maxima, minima, tangents the birth of modern calculus. He worked tirelessly to push integration and differentiation as inverse operations. He also explored dynamics energy, potential, momentum recasting mechanics with richer insight. His mathematical mind was universal, logic, algebra, combinatorics, philosophy, all fields bent before him. Leibniz was born in 1646 in Leipzig. His father, Friedrich Leibniz, was a scholar of moral philosophy, but died when Leibniz was only six. He inherited his father's library, and by age 12 he had taught himself Latin, Greek, logic. At 14 he entered the University of Leipzig, studying philosophy, mathematics, law. Leibniz lived in a time of giants, Newton, Descartes, Huygens, his choices stirred rivalry. He published his calculus around the same time Newton did, accusations flew. Did he borrow from Newton? He defended his independent path. His post in the Ducal Library gave him time and space to think. He saw knowledge as interconnected mathematics, logic, metaphysics, language. He dreamed of a universal characteristic a symbolic language to map all human thought. Yet many of his ideas remained in manuscripts, unpublished, debated, even dismissed. Leibniz died in 1716 in Hanover. His work spanned thousands of pages and scattered notes, some still explored today. But his markers remain calculus, notation, binary, logic, universal methods. Modern computers think in binary. His symbols still govern integration and differentiation. The architecture of software, algorithms, computation all owe a debt. In hindsight, the great Newton Leibniz debate often obscures how different and complementary their ideas were. Leibniz's notation proved more elegant, more enduring in many usages. He didn't just invent tools, he changed how we think. He saw that change is calculable, that motion is language, that the continuum must speak. Picture Leibniz in soft candlelight, drafting the symbol integral, scribbling dx, wrestling with infinitesimals. A man forging a new logic, a new grammar of change, in a world ruled by static geometry. He teaches us, to see the world, one must invent new eyes. He teaches that boldness in notation is as powerful as boldness in equations. Leibniz whispers across centuries his voice lives in every derivative, every integral, every algorithm. If you felt the spark, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Let's bring forward the minds who shaped our hidden language of change.